Yes, ooh ooh ooh, pop on my dick little fuckboy, ouch, that hurts just in the way I like it. researchers have really tried to teach non-human primates to talk. They even raised baby chimpanzees in human homes to expose them to speech just like human babies, but all of these attempts have failed. Because of some influential studies a couple decades ago, most scientists have thought that the vocal anatomy of non-human primates was to blame. But according to a paper published in Science Advances this month, their brains might be the limiting factor. And Ever since I was a little boy, I always wondered how does my daddy looks like when he's naked. Sometimes I peeked through the keyhole of my bathroom just to see his belly covered in thick black hair. His belly was so big I couldn't see his willy underneath it. It was a big issue. It's not like I didn't ask him to show me his pecker, but he refused every time. Son, this is really inappropriate, he said. Yet, I couldn't help myself, I just had to see his dick. My willy is small and limp, but I'm sure my daddy has a nice big pecker with a fitting for a skin that goes well with his pair of sweaty, mushy balls. No wonder my mummy gets all wet when he smashes her ass like there's no tomorrow. I wish my daddy would pound my ash hole too, every now and then. I remember this one time when I dressed in my mum's lingerie and waited in my parents' bed, spreading my ass chick and waiting for my dad to enter. He did not. Son, what on earth are you doing? He asked. No words can describe my loneliness and sadness. There's simply no remedy for this sickness, and by sickness I mean my dad refusing to pop my cherry. This is really traumatic and depressing. All I want is his juicy pecker to penetrate my lovely virgin butt. Is that really so much to ask for?